wag wanna give me opinionated people. So people may have a fun interview right here. So with well not even interview, a reasoning. You understand? With dub poet DYCR and singer singing melody, right? And you don't know so DYCR is one of the best. You understand? If not the best dub poet out of Jamaica we boss out. You understand? You remember him of the hit like Delroy, Delroy, yes, grandma. You know them them, them big hit there. You understand me? I say so. DYCR is you know giving us a little bit of insight as to how him really make it in the business and how people came to know of him and all of that and what it was like. All right, so we're gonna take a listen right now to him and singing melody having this conversation. So people sit back, relax, and just take a listen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, big up yourself. This is one of Jamaica's most talented and the most fiery, no point. Respect to Muta Baruka, respect to Yasa Safari, respect to all of the poet them. A matter of fact, we just have the foundation man them to them. Yeah, man. And I respect to them. For everybody we put in them work. You understand? Respect you able to introduce him and we go from there. So and Bill, let him have some music with a play people. A fire! Oh, <laughs> <some> blessing, yes. <laughs> yeah, hear me better, you know? Yes, a liquor. Good man, good All man, right. welcome. All right, give thanks, give thanks to that. Yeah, man. Well, first of all, I just want to ask you, how you doing, my brother? How are you doing, my brother? Yeah, I give thanks, you know, me I give thanks to life, my brethren, seeing because that is, you understand, is something where if you have life, you understand, you know, have nothing, you know, see it, and even if all things is not well, you know, see it, and once you have life, there's great possibilities, you know, that you can be well, and others can be well as well, you know, so we give thanks to that. Respect. Well, this is a program they call Tana Your Yard, I mean, know you the one, right? Naturally. Since this thing uh, start come through in Arasta, you know, see it? Me make sure, so me turn on my yard. Me hardly <laughs> gonna wear. You understand? Me just make sure, say, me just get me little food, me little water. You understand? And try entertain myself in my yard. You understand? Yes, because why I don't want to mix up with that fuddle doddle and I don't want that fuddle doddle if him try mix up with me. You know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have DYCR, one of the most fiery dub poets out at Kingston, Jamaica. Matter of fact, out at Jamaica. Because we don't want to label no Kingston or no country. Jamaica, Jamaica, with 14 parishes. So any one of them we choose to live at the we come from. See? Naturally. No, DYCR, explain to me what DYCR is. Okay. D.Y. Sierra means Delroy Chandler. D.Y. from Delroy, Sierra from Chandler. First and last letters of both names. And uh, Delroy also means King. Chandler means oil, soap, water, chandeliers, and also makers of candles. You know, see? <laughs> so I know did have a power word for, you know, see, shine to the world. Seeing because I don't know, say, Oil is a thing where that no stay, you understand, beneath water. And it's a very central thing that why you could have electricity and all these things. Water is such importance of life where you can't go without that. You understand? And then I and I Stick. come like with the soap for wash away also, the grime and cut away and all them things there. You know, see it's chandelier, a shining light, definitely, you know? Respect. DYCR today is not even an in interview, you know. We call it outer the view. A outer view, out, naturally. Yeah. Yes. And, 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 and go into the reasoning. And naturally. the reasoning is really to catch up with you because I remember specifically when I met you, you were a young, aspiring, dub poet person. You were doing it for years, but when I met you, you were already on your way. But just never have the pathway. And when I run into yeah. you, I want I want you to refrain back that story there because me, me don't remember it good. Because you know them say the man who walk a bush now remember <laughs> when stepping up. But yeah, them say the one who no, the man who beat the bush now remember when stepping up. The man who stepping up. All right. 
All right, Melody, I and I proud to say at all times that the I is a friend of mine. Seen, yes. And um, I'm also proud to know that you are the one who did actually introduce I and I to Richie Stevens. You understand? And when him start producing, so let me fast forward a bit. I remember I went around um, Tree Walks Avenue. You know, see it one night for go do some tune. And when I go around there, you know, see it, I sight George Knox and um, when name Luciano, you know, doing um, some uh, dub plates. You understand? And I did one for um, this sound system that is called Yellow Choice. You understand? This Japanese sound. Yeah. The same flame fire tune. Yeah, because that I'm the first hit tune in a way that I've done a lot of dub plates off, you know, see it in the early days. I'm still doing. All right. So I remember when I came back now, no, Mr. Tell asked me to do um, a, a tune, you know, see it for him, and I'm um, one of the Beethoven rhythm. And I remember I put on the demo tape and thing and then give me a copy of it. And I came out to, um, what you call it, Bobby Digital Studio, a you and then. And that's where I saw you that night. And I yeah, said to me, say, what's going on? Me? I'm saying, there, man. I was saying, no, sir. And I said, tell them, I forward from the melody. And I said, hey. And I said, yeah, man. I have one little tune here. I do and I said, let me hear it, man. And I gave it to play in I van. And I said, boy, I can't can, can, can sit in time there. You said to me, say, boy, I want this to carry home. I'm going to make my wife hear it, D.Y. You have to make this, boy. You understand? Yeah, man. So, you know, see it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I said, boy, it's so good, and me give thanks to that, you know, see it and thing, you know. So, me not even remember what one on this, but me know, say, yeah, you well, don't let, let me remind you, let, <clears throat> let me remind you, yeah. I took that cassette, and I went to him, and I said to my wife, said, listen to this. She said, boy, what can I do every time? I said, please, listen to that song here. Let me tell you, at the first time I hear a dope poet like this, listen to this. And she said, all right, put it in. I'm going to put in the cassette. Them time cassette are on things. Yes. And brethren, when we put in the cassette, she said, oh my God, it's different. You know, and I said, boy, I have to try to get this youth up, record some song for some people. So I see about me, give about the cassette. I don't give about the cassette. And I said to you, say, well, I don't think I need to get back people. that cassette in a melody. <laughs> oh, you're not get it back? No, I don't when think I get it. it back, but everything good. I forgot to look for it. I forgot to look for it. Everything good. It's it's not look for that one there. It's in a me. Everything good. Yes. But I remember you said to me, say, you know, see it's same place around uh, Bobby Digital. Say, yo, you want me to come with you around a uh, main street? I said, come with me around a uh, main street, man. And thing, you know, I mean, I said to you, say, I don't want to go to the man. And next day, he'll insist and say, come with me, man, around the main street. Can you not tell me who I'm going to meet or whatever it is, but you just don't pass. I come with you around the main street. So I say, all right, then. I'm a forward with you around there. And Richie Stevens now was there. It's the first time I would actually be seeing him. You understand? I heard of him already, like, and really, I sing and them sort of thing, the record, you know, and thing. And I said to him, say, like you tell me, say, Richie, and you know, show me the other one, and say, this and that, and so forth, and whoever, and so forth. I'm saying, yeah, man. And then you said to Richie, say, Richie, you know who this? And Richie said, no, man, I don't know who this. I said, Richie, you don't know who this? And he might say, no, man. I said, tell me now, tell me now. And I said, all right, DY, just say something, make you hear him say, I fire. And he said, no, no. He said, wait, are you that man? He said, are you that a long time ago? I mean, you know. The man say, I don't know more what I mean, you know. The man say, you know, see, it, you see that's something that where you just do a little while. That is a musical note you draw, you know, that you have never heard no one in a music draw, you know, that type of way, you know. And say, you have something where you can bust like any artist in the music business or bust and run the place, you know. Because you say you have that quality, you understand? And I, and I never doubt it still, see, you know? So I remember... That's where the the, 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 um, the journey with recording. The connection, the connection you know, man. The connection yeah, with the talk. Yeah. D.Y., let me tell you. When I first heard you, I knew that you have this potential that could be different. I always look for different talent, you know. I know when people is going to make it. And anything that I can do in my powers to help them, I will. This is just me, Pana Ol, basically. So... B.Y., let me tell you something. It has been a journey with the eye. 
it has been whole heap of ups and downs, tons of tune. Stick up on it a little bit. Make we go back to that song because I remember this one. This, a matter of fact, not it, let, let, let me play this one. This one. Yes. Delroy, Delroy, yes, Grandma. Del right. Me, yes, I am I. so, let me tell you, tears coming out my eyes. Everything is happening to me emotionally right now. Um, yes. It's because your story is so real and it comes, oh my God, this, this story has motivated so much people who have been through this kind of abuse as you growing up. You understand? When they go to live with relatives and things like that, how did you come up with this song? Why make you decide? understand? So, you know, after a while, you know, see, it is like she sell me, she still do it until now. You understand? She got the meat stall and somebody tell her that, listen, there's this woman who her kids them big and gone American, wherever gone live in her. So she wants somebody, you know, to be a part of the family. You understand thing, you know, but when me go there and I like all of the dirty work, you know, boss man, I me have to do it, you know. You understand? So I was introduced to this lady, you understand, Philippe the now. She said, Well, you know, everybody call her grandma and think her because she wasn't that like a biological grandma, a stranger. All right. So I saw why me didn't know she have this little thing now where you know, you, you wake up in the morning and you sweep up the yard, clean up the dog mess and, you know, do all them things and do the little rounds and things. But for the rest of the day, you still can sit down in peace. You understand? Even for a moment, like she does, I wonder where they at any second. Some of the years she have called me, they I mean, you know, I was very a uh, manly person. You know, so I say, yes, grandma. She said, I'm asking you to go up to Great Supermarket and buy a tin of milk and a pound of rice. So I go up there and get it and forward. I put them in the house. The day she called me again, Dara, yes, Grandma. See, I'm asking you to go up to Red Hills and get the green bananas from his black hood. You know, if it take too long, we're not going to get any. So I say, yes, Grandma, again. So I walk all the way from 221 Olympic Way and to Mullins Road up to Red Hills, get the green bananas from his black hood. Come back down sometime. Bridget, I tell us the son, half the night, tired to go go road as I sit down me a woman call me again. They all said yes, grandma. She said they have some mango trees outside, you know, that they chop down. I'm asking you to go there and chop them up and bring them in for me because you know it's so expensive to cook the dog food and the gas and it is cheap and the wood fire said yes, grandma. So Melody let me take up the mash here. Well, I would call that definitely entertaining. You understand? I had, I had fun listening to it. Did you have fun listening to it? Yeah. You understand? DYCR, aka Delroy. <laughs> you understand? Shares his details as to how he became known. And we have to say big up to singing melody. You understand? For help him out as well. Because you don't know, say, enough artists in the business. You know, don't help out nobody. You know, yeah, we're not going to call the name. But you don't know, singing melody, see the talent. And decide to say, yo, he must go do a thing for the youth. And him really do it and push the artist and get the artist out there and make him talent known. What you know, man, people? Talk to me down in the comment section because you don't know as me always tell you no. Your opinion matters. Big up yourself. Whoa, unstoppable youth. Unstoppable youth. Unstoppable youth.